They left you behind, didn't they? Turned their backs and walked away, thinking they were rid of you. But what they didn't realize is that they were just walking into their own nightmare. They abandoned you like you were nothing, like you were just another step in their journey that they could forget, toss aside, and leave in the past. They thought they were free, but the truth is, they were never free. They were just blind to the consequences of their actions. Because you see, when you abandon someone, you don't just lose them, you lose everything that came with them. The loyalty, the trust, the foundation that was once the bedrock of your relationship. They were so sure they could move on without you, convinced they'd find something better. And for a moment, it might have seemed like they won. They didn't hear the echoes of your absence. They didn't feel the weight of what they left behind. But deep down, they knew something was missing. They just didn't want to admit it. Now, they're waking up to the reality that there is no easy escape from the consequences of betrayal. They've walked away from the one thing that kept them grounded. And now, with each passing day, they are sinking deeper into their own self-made void. They thought you were nothing, but now they can't stop thinking about what they've lost. They thought leaving you behind was the end of the story, but it was just the beginning of theirs. And now, now they're paying the price, alone. Think about it. How did it feel when they walked away? When they told you they didn't need you anymore? When they left you in the dust, as if you were just another insignificant chapter in their life? The world may have kept spinning, but inside you were left to face the silence. At first you might have felt like you were the one who lost, the one who had been discarded. It stung. It hurt in places you didn't even know existed. You wondered if you were enough, if you were worthy, if you'd ever be seen again as someone worth keeping. But here's the thing. What they didn't realize is that by leaving you behind, they weren't freeing themselves. They were setting the stage for their own downfall. They didn't know how to appreciate the value you brought into their lives. They were too busy looking for something else, thinking that leaving you behind would somehow make them stronger, better, or more free. But freedom doesn't come from running away. It comes from standing tall in the face of your own actions. And now, now they're trapped in the very choices they made, and there's no one left to save them from themselves. Do you feel that? The way you've risen, the way you've come out stronger, while they've only grown weaker in the shadows they've cast. They may have thought they could walk away unscathed, but deep down, they're haunted by the one thing they can't escape the realization that they lost you and they'll never get you back. They thought they were strong, didn't they? Thought they could stand tall, head held high, walking away from you as if you were nothing more than an obstacle in their path. They believed they had finally broken free, free from the ties that once bound you two together, free from the responsibilities, free from the emotions that made them vulnerable. They convinced themselves they didn't need you, that their life would be better without you. But here's the bitter truth they never saw coming. The strength they thought they had was nothing but an illusion, a mask they wore to hide their fear, their guilt, and their own insecurities. The moment they left, they weren't walking into freedom. No, they were running from the very thing that gave them stability. They abandoned the foundation that kept them grounded, the very source of their strength. You see, true freedom isn't about cutting ties with the people who help you grow. It's about being strong enough to stand together, to face the world with the ones who have your back. They didn't get that. They didn't understand that strength isn't in escaping the ones who care about you, it's in facing your fears and your flaws together. But now, that false sense of freedom is all they have. And with it, they'll soon realize how hollow it truly is. They believe their freedom came from walking away. But in reality, they've just confined themselves to a cage of their own making. It's a cage made of regret, loneliness, and the crushing weight of their own choices. And no matter how much they try to convince themselves otherwise, they're still trapped. They told themselves they were self-reliant, didn't they? They told themselves they didn't need anyone. They built this image of independence, of being the lone wolf standing strong on their own. It sounded good, didn't it? The idea that they could face the world alone, that they could be the masters of their own fate without anyone to hold them down. But the truth, the truth is far darker. Self-reliance isn't about running away from the people who care about you. It's about knowing that your strength doesn't come from isolation, but from the connections you build along the way. It's about standing on your own two feet, yes, but knowing when to lean on others. And more importantly, knowing when to let others lean on you. You see, it's not about never needing anyone, it's about the strength to admit when you do. They didn't see it. They didn't realize that their so-called independence was just a shield, a defense mechanism against the fear of vulnerability. They abandoned you thinking they could stand tall on their own, but now, Without you, they're crumbling under the weight of their own pride. The walls they built around themselves aren't protecting them, they're suffocating them. And no matter how many times they tell themselves they're fine, deep down, they know the truth. Self-reliance isn't about pushing people away. It's about knowing that your strength is amplified by those you surround yourself with. They may have walked away, but now they're facing the harsh reality that no matter how hard they try, they can't survive alone forever. They'll need someone eventually. And when they do, it'll be too late. Do you remember how you always held things together? How you were the one who kept them grounded when everything else around them was falling apart? When the storm hit, it was you who stood firm, 
who offered them stability. You were the anchor in their chaotic world, the one who kept them from drifting too far away from what mattered. When they were lost, you were the light that guided them home. You were there when they needed a hand to hold, a shoulder to lean on, a voice to reassure them that everything would be all right. You believed in them when no one else did. You picked them up when they couldn't stand. You gave them everything because you saw their potential, their worth even when they didn't see it themselves. But the moment they thought they could sail without you, they tossed you aside, as if you were nothing more than ballast. They believed they could navigate the world on their own, that they didn't need the anchor that held them steady. But now, now they're adrift, lost in a sea of their own making. The storm is still raging, and they've got no one left to keep them afloat. They thought they could outrun the chaos, but the truth is, without the stability you provided, they're sinking faster than they ever imagined. Every wave they face, every challenge they encounter, they're facing it alone because they cut you out. The one person who could have steadied the ship kept them on course, and now, now, they're lost in the very waters they thought they could control. You were their anchor, and now, with you gone, they're at the mercy of the tide. And no matter how much they wish for the calm you brought, it's too late. They're adrift, and there's no one left to save them from drowning in the consequences of their own choices. They thought they could walk away without a second thought, didn't they? Thought they could abandon you without ever considering the cost of that decision. They left, thinking they'd be better off, thinking they could find freedom in letting go of the one person who had always kept them grounded. But now, now they're paying the price. You were the stability they never realized they needed, the calm in the storm, the rock they could always rely on. But the moment they decided they could do it on their own, they severed the one connection that kept them from falling apart. And now, every step they take, they feel the weight of their own mistakes. The price of abandonment isn't just the loss of a person, it's the unraveling of everything they once held dear. The truth is, they didn't just lose you, they lost the stability you brought. They lost the comfort of knowing that, no matter how bad things got, they had someone who would always be there to keep them grounded. Now, with you gone, they're floating aimlessly, struggling to hold on to anything they can. But it's all slipping through their fingers, because without you, there's nothing left to hold on to. Every decision they make now is tainted by regret, because they know, deep down, that the life they're trying to build is nothing but a hollow shell of what they had when you were by their side. Every moment of peace they thought they found in their newfound freedom has been replaced with a gnawing emptiness. They've realized too late that the cost of abandoning you was far greater than they ever imagined. Now they're adrift in a sea of their own making, unable to find their way back to the life they once had. And as they drift further into isolation, they'll come to understand the true price of their choices. It's not just the loss of your presence, it's the loss of everything you gave them, the love, the support, the anchor that kept them from sinking in the first place. And now they're drowning in their own regret, and there's no one left to throw them a lifeline. Revenge doesn't have to be loud. It doesn't need to be dramatic, flashy, or filled with angry confrontations. In fact, the most powerful form of revenge is the one that speaks through your silence, the one that cuts deeper than any words, any actions, or any retaliation could ever do. When they abandoned you, they expected you to fall apart. They thought you'd chase after them, beg them to come back, or lash out in anger. They thought you would give them the satisfaction of watching you crumble. But instead, instead, you chose silence. You didn't scream, you didn't beg, you didn't chase them down. And that's what terrified them the most. You see, when you stop reacting, when you stop showing them the pain, the anger, the desperation, they start to realize something far more terrifying than any revenge you could serve. They start to see the truth you don't need them. And worse, they can't break you. Your silence speaks volumes. It's the kind of silence that echoes in their minds, haunts their every thought. It's the silence that tells them, loud and clear, that you've moved on, you've found your peace, and they, they're still stuck in the chaos they left behind. They can try to convince themselves that walking away was the right choice, but the truth is, they're lying to themselves. They can pretend it doesn't bother them, that they're better off without you, but when they're alone, in the quiet moments of the night, it hits them, the emptiness, the loneliness, the regret, because they know what they gave up, and the silence that now surrounds you only amplifies it. The real revenge isn't in revenge itself, it's in your strength to rise, to move forward, and to show them that their actions didn't break you, that you're better off without them. And no matter how hard they try to crawl back into your life, they'll never be able to reclaim what they lost. Your silence is the loudest message they'll ever receive. Revenge isn't about hurting them, it's about showing them they can never hurt you again. And that's what stings the most, the fact that you don't need them to be whole, to succeed or to find happiness. You're thriving in silence, and it's the most powerful revenge they'll ever witness. They thought they could betray you and walk away without facing any consequences. They believed they could cut ties with you, leave you behind, and never have to answer for what they did. But here's the thing about betrayal, it doesn't vanish. It doesn't disappear. It lingers, festers, and when you least expect it, it comes back to claim them. You see, their betrayal wasn't just an action. 
It was a decision that sent ripples through the fabric of everything they once had with you. And now, those ripples are starting to hit them harder than they ever imagined. They may have thought they could get away with it, but the truth is, the consequences of their betrayal are slowly closing in on them. You didn't need to scream. You didn't need to throw their lies in their face. Your silence is the consequence. It's the reminder that they can't run from their own actions. You were once the person who stood by them, who supported them, who loved them unconditionally. And now, now, they're left with the hollow remnants of a relationship they abandoned. The silence you've embraced is the loudest form of revenge they could ever face, because it forces them to confront the reality of their own betrayal. The consequence of their betrayal is more than just the loss of you. It's the isolation that follows. It's the empty space where your presence once was, and the aching realization that they can never replace what they've thrown away. No matter how hard they try, no matter how much time passes, they will never be able to fill the void left by their own choices. And that, my friend, is the greatest punishment they'll ever receive. They thought they could betray you and walk away untouched, but the silence you've chosen is louder than any words could ever be. And as they sit alone, dealing with the aftermath of their own decisions, they'll come to understand that the greatest consequence isn't what you do to them, it's the fact that they will live with the knowledge that they've lost you forever. And that, no matter what, is something they'll never escape. They never saw it coming, did they? They thought that when they pushed you away, they were simply shedding dead weight. They thought they could discard you like a worn out coat and walk into a brighter future. But what they didn't understand is that you weren't just a part of their life, you were the spark that kept their fire burning. Before you came into their life, they were lost in the darkness, stumbling through the motions, barely keeping their head above water. But you, you were the one who brought light into their world. You were the motivation they needed to push forward. You were the one who believed in them when no one else did. You were the one who fanned the flames of their potential, their ambition, their will to succeed. But when they decided to cast you aside, they didn't just lose your presence. They lost the very energy that kept them alive. Your departure wasn't just the end of a relationship, it was the beginning of their downfall. You were the fire that fueled their growth, the spark that ignited their journey. And without that spark, everything they once had began to burn out. They think they can rebuild, don't they? They think they can move on, that they can start over and find something else to fill the void you left behind. But what they don't understand is that the ashes are all that remain. They've lost the drive, the inspiration, the momentum that came from you being by their side. And now, no matter how hard they try to pick up the pieces, there's no flame left to rekindle. Their fire has burned out, and in its place, there's only smoke and ashes. What they failed to realize is that you weren't just a part of their success, you were the foundation of it. You were the spark that set everything in motion. And now that you're gone, everything they've built is crumbling to the ground. Their dreams, their ambitions, they all seem so far out of reach now, like distant stars in a cold, empty sky. And as they stand amidst the ashes of everything they thought they had, they'll come to understand something far more painful than their regret without you. They're nothing. Without you, they're just smoke in the wind. And all they can do is watch as the flames of their once bright future fade into the nothingness they created. They once thought they were untouchable, didn't they? Thought they could burn every bridge and still come out on top. But now, as they stand in the wreckage of their own making, they're facing a cold, hard truth. Without you, they have nothing. Their world is nothing but smoke and ruins, a shadow of what it once was. They're starting to feel it, aren't they? That cold emptiness creeping in, that gnawing silence where warmth used to be. They've tried to move on, tried to fill the hole you left, but everything they've done, every new attempt they make to move forward, only reminds them of what's missing. The warmth, the fire, the spark that came from you. The cold reality they face now is that they never realized how much you truly gave them. They thought they could walk away from you and still find success, still find happiness. But now they see the truth they can't. They were never going to make it without you. They just didn't know it until now. You weren't just a part of their life, you were the fuel that kept the engine running. You were the fire that kept their spirit alive. And now, now, they're running on fumes. Every day is colder than the last. Every step they take feels heavier, as if the world is closing in on them. They try to smile, try to act like everything's fine. But deep down, they know. They know they're alone and it's a loneliness they can't escape. They thought they were strong enough to go it alone, but now, with the weight of their own decisions crushing them, they understand how fragile they really are. The cold reality is that the future they dreamed of one without you isn't going to happen. The dreams they had, the ambitions they worked towards, they're all slipping further and further out of reach. Every time they try to grasp them, they find themselves back where they started cold, empty, and without direction. The fire they once had has long since burned out, and they're left in the shadows, haunted by the echoes of what they lost. And as the cold reality sets in, they'll have no one to blame but themselves. You were the spark, the catalyst for everything they ever achieved. And now, they're just a pile of ashes, trying to hold onto something that no longer exists. They burned their chance at redemption, their chance at rebuilding, and now all they're left with is the chill of their own regret. There comes a moment, a cold, 
undeniable moment when the truth finally hits them. It's not loud, it's not sudden, it's not even dramatic, but it's the moment they realize with piercing clarity what they've done. They'll see it all, every choice, every mistake, every piece of the puzzle they thought was a coincidence, it all lines up. And they'll know, without a shadow of a doubt, that they've lost you forever. In that moment, everything will come rushing in. The memory of your loyalty, your sacrifices, your presence in their life will flood their mind. They'll remember how you were always there, even when they didn't deserve it. They'll remember how they took you for granted, how they pushed you away, how they believed they could replace you or move on without ever facing the consequences. And in that clarity, they'll see something far worse than regret. They'll see the irreversible damage they've caused. The weight of their betrayal will hit them harder than any punch could, because the realization won't be just about losing you, it'll be about losing everything they ever built with. Their life, their progress, their sense of self, everything that they once thought was secure, is now slipping through their fingers because the very foundation they built it on has been shattered by their own hands. They'll feel it like a knife to the chest, this suffocating, crushing weight of truth. They'll finally understand the consequences of their actions, the truth they've been avoiding for so long. They'll see that your departure wasn't just the end of a relationship, it was the end of their stability, their support, their reason to fight. The reckoning is a moment they can't escape. No matter how much they try to distract themselves, no matter how many new distractions they create, that moment will stay with them. They'll carry it with them like a shadow, a constant reminder of the choice they made, the choice to abandon the one person who would have stood by them, no matter what. And here's the painful part. There's no way to undo it. No amount of apologizing, no amount of regret, no amount of time will bring back what they lost. The clarity they now face will never fade. It will be a constant, silent reminder that their actions had consequences, and those consequences were losing you, and they will never escape that truth. It will haunt them for as long as they live. The day will come when they can no longer deny it. The moment when the weight of their decisions becomes too heavy to carry. It won't be in the heat of the moment, but in the quiet stillness of their thoughts. When the world around them fades and the truth comes crashing down, they'll feel it like an anchor tied to their chest, dragging them deeper and deeper with every passing second. The regret, that suffocating weight that won't let them breathe, won't let them forget, won't let them escape the consequences of their betrayal. It's the kind of regret that gnaws at their insides, relentless and unyielding. Because no matter how hard they try to outrun it, they can't. They thought they could walk away from you, convinced that they'd find something better, that they'd be happier without you. But now, the reality is unbearable. Every choice they made to distance themselves from you, every moment they ignored your value, has come to this, this crushing, undeniable regret that presses down on them with the force of a thousand pounds. The regret isn't just about losing you, it's the recognition that they've lost themselves in the process. They can't look in the mirror without seeing the reflection of someone who betrayed their own heart. Someone who didn't understand what truly mattered until it was too late. The weight of that realization is almost more than they can bear. And with each passing day, it only gets heavier. They'll replay the moments in their head, over and over again the conversations, the opportunities they had to make things right, the times they could have held on, could have fought for you. And each time, the regret grows stronger, more suffocating. They will see, with brutal clarity, that they chose to let go of the one person who would have never let them fall. And now they can't fix it. They can't turn back time. And the worst part, the worst part is knowing that their regret doesn't matter to you anymore. They can't undo the damage. They can't make up for the time they wasted. Your absence in their life is permanent, a void they can't fill. They may beg for forgiveness. They may plead for another chance. But the truth is, it's too late. The weight of their regret will be a burden they'll carry alone because they pushed you away and now there's no way to get back what they lost. This is the reckoning they've been avoiding. This is the moment they realize that no matter how many times they try to justify their actions, the regret will always outweigh everything else. They may not ever admit it, but deep down, they'll know losing you was the one mistake they can never undo. And it's a burden that will haunt them for the rest of their lives. There comes a time when everything they've tried to deny, everything they've buried deep inside, comes to the surface. And in that moment, there's no hiding from the truth anymore. The final verdict is clear, and it can't be avoided no matter how much they try to rationalize, to explain, or to justify. The inescapable truth is this, they made their choice. They made the choice to abandon you, to walk away from someone who would have stood by them through thick and thin. They made the choice to let go of the person who brought light to their darkest moments, the one who believed in them when no one else did. And now, they must live with the consequences of that choice. Because the truth is simple and undeniable, they chose to lose you. And there's no coming back from it. They can't undo the past. No amount of time or regret will change the fact that they turned their back on the one person who would have never left. You gave them everything you had and they threw it away like it was nothing. Now they're left with the cold, harsh reality that they can never get back what they lost. And this is where the truth settles in this, is the final verdict they can never escape. 
They may search for someone else to fill your place, try to find a replacement for the bond you shared, but it will never be the same. No one can replace what they had with you. The emptiness they feel, the loneliness that follows them, will always be there. A reminder that they chose wrong, and that's the truth they'll carry with them, forever the knowledge that their actions led to the one person who truly mattered slipping through their fingers. This is the reckoning they can't deny. The truth is simple but brutal. They abandoned the one person who would have never abandoned them. And no matter what they do, no matter how they try to move on, that truth will haunt them. It will echo in their mind, gnawing at their conscience. Because deep down, they know they are the architects of their own suffering. They built their downfall, and now they must live with the aftermath. The final verdict is this, you were the one thing in their life that was real. You were the one constant in a world full of change. And by pushing you away, they sealed their fate. They will never find peace. They will never find fulfillment. They will never find another like you. The inescapable truth is that they lost everything that truly mattered. And now they must face the consequences of their own choices. And that, my friend, is a truth they will never escape. And then the final blow comes. It's not loud, it's not dramatic. It doesn't announce itself with fanfare or fury. No, the final blow is quieter, but far more devastating. It's the moment when they finally realize there's no turning back. They've crossed a line they can never uncross. And all the pretending, all the distractions, can no longer shield them from the truth. They thought they could handle it, thought they could push you away and still have everything they wanted. But now, with that final blow, they realize the horrible truth they can't go back. They can't fix what they've broken. They can't rewind time and undo the damage they've done. The person they once relied on, the one they thought would always be there, is gone, and with that, so is their chance for redemption. The blow is felt in every part of their being. It's not just an emotional wound, it's a wound that cuts deep into their soul. Because this isn't something they can just brush off. It's not a broken relationship they can mend with a few words. It's not a mistake that can be forgiven with time. It's the undeniable reality that they lost you. And that's the final blow they'll never recover from. The worst part, they know they deserve it. They know they pushed you too far. They know they took you for granted believed they could always count on you and thought you'd always be there. But now, in this moment of clarity, they realize they were wrong. They were so wrong. And nothing they do now will change the fact that they've burned their bridges with you. As the final blow lands, they're left with nothing. The realization is suffocating. The guilt, the shame, the regret, they're all piled on top of them, crushing them beneath the weight of their own decisions. And as they stand there, empty-handed, they understand they've lost more than just you. They've lost their own chance at peace, at healing, at a future that could have been better. This is the final blow that will haunt them for the rest of their life. And here's the brutal truth, they will never forget this. They will never escape it. Every time they look back on their life, every time they try to move forward, they'll be reminded of the final blow they took loot. They can try to bury it. They can try to ignore it. But it'll follow them, lingering in the corners of their mind, like an open wound that refuses to heat. That's the final blow. The blow that ends everything they once took for granted. The blow that marks the end of their illusion. And no matter how much time passes, no matter how many people they try to replace you with, they will always carry this final blow with them. It's the one wound they can never fix, the one truth they will never escape. While they wallow in their regret, trapped in the aftermath of their decisions, you stand alone stronger than ever before. In their abandonment, in their betrayal, you found a power that they could never understand. The strength you gained wasn't given to you, it was forged in the fire of solitude, in the silence of their absence. And it's a power that can never be taken from you. They thought they could break you, thought they could take everything away and leave you in ruins. But what they didn't realize is that in their absence, you rebuilt yourself. Piece by piece, moment by moment, you became something they could never have imagined. You became the very thing they feared, the person who doesn't need anyone to stand tall. The person who finds strength not in numbers, not in validation, but in the unwavering belief that you are enough on your own. Your solitude wasn't a curse. It was the catalyst for your growth. While they were out chasing temporary satisfaction, drowning in their own choices, you were building something real. You were becoming the person who no longer looks to others for approval, the person who no longer depends on anyone's presence to feel whole. They tried to break you, but all they succeeded in doing was giving you the space to discover your true power. And now you're untouchable. This strength, this newfound power, is something they will never understand. They may watch from a distance, desperate to figure out how you've become the person you are today. But the answer is simple. It was in your solitude that you learned the most about yourself. It was in the silence of being alone that you realized your own worth. While they pushed you out, you pulled yourself together. And that's the strength that no one, not even them, can ever strip from you. They might return, years down the line, looking for the version of you that once existed the one they took for granted, the one they abandoned. But the truth they'll have to face is this, that person is gone. They're gone because they were never meant to stay. You grew beyond them. You found a power that's yours alone. And now you stand in a place where no one can reach you. 
No one can shake you. No one can take away the peace you've built within yourself. The strength you gained is your gift to yourself, a testament to the resilience they underestimated. They thought you were weak without them. What they didn't realize is that they were the ones who were weak without you. And now, as they drown in the consequences of their own choices, you stand tall, unshaken, stronger than ever before. So let them watch. Let them reflect on the destruction they caused. Because what they'll never know is this, while they suffered the cost of their betrayal, you thrived in the silence they left behind. You didn't just survive, you grew, you flourished. And now, you are everything they'll never be able to replace. In the end, they thought they were rid of you. They thought they could walk away without consequence, that they could cast you aside and move on like you were nothing. But what they never saw coming the truth they never understood is that in the silence of their absence, you found something far greater than they could ever take away. You found yourself. The power you gained is not just strength, it's wisdom. It's the understanding that you were never truly alone because you've always had everything you needed inside you. You were your own anchor. You were the force that kept you grounded. And now you stand in a place where nothing, no one can shake you. So let them suffer. Let them face the consequences of their choices. Because while they're drowning in regret, you're soaring. You've become something they could never handle, something they could never destroy. And no matter what they do, no matter how much they beg for forgiveness, they can never undo the power you've unlocked within yourself. You were never meant to be their backup plan. You were never meant to be their second choice. And now you're the one they'll always wish they had. But it's too late. You've moved on. You've become your own masterpiece. So here's the final truth you don't need them. You never did. You are the storm they couldn't weather, the fire they couldn't tame. And no matter how hard they try, they will never find anyone who can match the strength, the resilience, and the power you gained from standing on your own. You are the one they abandoned. You are the one they lost. And now you are the one who will forever stand untouchable because the power they took from you was never theirs to begin with. It was always yours.